In the last video, we saw how to import a CSV file. We are going to do something similar uh, in this video. We are going to see how we are going to import a, a tab delimited file. Now, let me just uh, show you how the source file looks like. Now, to show you how the source file looks like, I'll go to my E drive. And I've got a file here, which is known as demo.file. Now, again, there are two important observations that you need to make here. Ask yourself a simple question. Ask yourself two questions, in fact. What does the first row contain? As you can see here, the very first row contains the column names, right? Age, marital status, address, income, income category, car price, so on and so forth. My actual data begins from the second row onwards. The second question that you need to ask yourself is, uh, what is the delimiter between two variables? Unlike an Excel sheet wherein, it's, uh, wherein you have margins here, you don't have margins and therefore you need a delimiter. You need to recognize that there is a delimiter separating two column names. And if you are able to separate these two column names uh, using a delimiter, uh, if you're able to recognize that the delimiter here is a tab, it will uh, help uh, in SPSS uh, to specify that the delimiter is a tab delimiter. And using that particular delimiter, you can pull the data from a non-SPSS environment, from any environment apart from SPSS to a SPSS environment. So as before, what we need to do is we need to close this particular file. So let me just close this uh, tab delimited file. Let me open a blank SPSS sheet. Now, any uh, file that you want to import, every time you want to import, you have to click on the file menu. So please click on the file menu. The third option here that you see is import data. Within this, you have a option of importing a text file. So just choose the text file. Uh, it'll just take me to uh, my uh, uh, source file. Uh, in case it doesn't, please use the drop down menu to specify the location of the file. The source file is demo.txt. Now, uh, the moment I specify the uh, name of the file, the file is ready to be imported. Please click on open. It just says uh, generating preview data from the file with the location of the file. Now, what you see is that it is generating a preview. This is always a good sign. You can give yourself a thumbs up because it has recognized that the first row contains the name of the variable. And, uh, many uh, and uh, uh, from the second row onwards, you have the actual data. Now that this is done, let me just click on next. Now you can see here, it asks a few important questions. How are the variables arranged? Uh, sometimes it could be delimited or sometimes uh, the variables are uh, aligned in fixed width column, right? I'll choose the option delimited because this uh, suits uh, my data. Are the variable names included at the top of your file? This is where you have to recall that the variable uh, names are included at the top of my file and therefore I'll choose the option yes. If the variables uh, are not included at the top of my file, I have to specify the line number that contains the variable name. Suppose uh, your uh, uh, variable name begins, uh, variable names begin from the second row or the third row. You can just come here and specify it as two or three accordingly, but I leave it with the default setting of one. Uh, I will not bother with the other options uh, since uh, SPSS has done a good job of recognizing the source file. I'll just click on next. Are there uh, anything useful here? The first case of the data begins in which number? It says four, which is wrong. I'll have to specify that the first row begins from row number two. Now that I'm specifying the row number two, it's able to pick up uh, this particular row. Now what I'll do is I'll just click on next. As you can see here uh, in SPSS, you don't have to write any syntax and such things. Uh, it's just a uh, point and click and therefore your focus can be on analysis of the data and it saves a lot of time. This is one of the biggest advantage of SPSS. It is a menu-driven software. And since it's a menu-driven software, it's very, very simple. Anybody can use it. You may be a statistician or a non-statistician. You may be a programmer. You may not have any programming background. It does not matter. SPSS makes uh, uh, handling data, analysis of data an absolute breeze. Uh, here it asks me an important question, which delimiters appear between the variables? We have already observed that it is a tab delimited file, 
but in case uh, when you are working on your own data you may have a space delimited file or a comma delimited file or a semicolon or any other delimiter please come uh, to this option in this particular option you can specify the appropriate option click on next do you want to change any variable name you have that option i'm happy and comfortable with the variable name so i'll not make any changes click on next again there is no more next uh, for you to click if you are satisfied with the preview all that you can do is just click on the finish button right please click on the finish button and you can see uh, the file has been dumped into your spss environment very very neatly it has been able to recognize that uh, the column names are age marital status address so on and so forth and the actual data begins from the second row so this is how spss is able to easily fetch the data from any non spss environment uh, so this in this uh, section you have seen how to import a tab delimited file thank you so much for watching my video please click on the subscribe button uh, and i'll see you in my next video